Hello and welcome to another episode of Trini in Atlanta. Today we are making shark. We are doing some fry shark and some fry bake. And well, there's the condiments to go with it. So let's start with the. This is the bakes. I'm going to need the flour for the bakes first and put that down. So here inside you have some flour. Some, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar. I'm going to add some baking powder, about maybe a teaspoon and a half of baking powder into this. Yep, and about a teaspoon of yeast inside here, right? And then, because I want the yeast to activate quickly, I'm going to use warm water this water is warm but this has been previously boiled so there is still a little more heat it i'm going to mix it now and have some yeah it's a little too hot that i have that and i'm going to start kneading let's mix this up first and then we'll start mixing this i'm going to add the water this wouldn't take long because it's not a lot of flour I have some extra flour there for parton in case I need it, which most likely I will. And let that knead. While that is kneading, I'm going to take some garlic. This is this has been previously washed with lemon, and now and and drain. I'm going to put some garlic, and I'm going to put some of my husband. Green seasoning with a bandana or shallow berry, more garlic, some ginger, some celery, some green onions, and some thyme. I don't think I left anything out, honey. Did you say cilantro? No, cilantro. cilantro. And some cilantro. That's my husband's seasoning. So he makes it. And this, and then I'm going to add a little of this seafood seasoning from Chief. Because I like, I love Chief seasoning. Just to give it an extra little flavor a little bit and then i'm going to this could have been seasoned a lot earlier on but i didn't because i wanted you all to see what i was doing here so let this sit for a couple minutes while i go back to this let me rinse up my hand again wash my hand and let's go back to looking at that flour okay this still want a little water it's kneading down, so I'm going to put a little water. I'm going to add a little bit of Kerrygold to that. I'm going to add a little bit, not a lot, of Kerrygold to that there. This is the same fire with recipe I used the last time. Use the same fire yeah. Now you could use a different one, but this is the one I use. This is one my mom used when I was little, and this is one I grew up using. Excellent. So I'm going to stop this and drop and feel the texture of the flour. Flour feels good. Flour feels good. I'm going to just incorporate this. It would have been even the need even better. But I don't. Ha I didn't need a lot of flour because it's only both of us. What I'm going to do with all that flour? So I'm going to just incorporate this together with the butter, and then I'm going to leave it for the yeast to do its work with the warm water, and then. This dish is considered one of the, uh, the iconic dishes of Trinidad and Tobago, isn't it? Yep. This might just as well be right up there with doubles and Kalaloo and Pilau and those kind of um, really iconic dishes. Because um, this has been around, as far as I know, this was first started in Maracas Bay. That's what I know. Yes. But I, I, I don't, I, 
when we we grew up in Barakpo, when we were younger, so Maracas wasn't in our list of outings to go to. To go to Maracas was never on our list of outings. I did not go to Maracas Bay until I was a grown woman married. And my husband took me to Maracas. A lot of country folks, even, you, I, even I, as a young man growing up, I had been there with excursions and whatnot. But it wasn't like a regular thing. So we living so far south, um, no, we, it wasn't a regular thing or normal thing to go to Maracas Bay. We went to Muruga. That is what our idea of a nice Sunday beach. Well, my mother would make some food and we would go down to Muruga. Now I'm going to leave that there and let it sit for while I'm doing this. I'm going to get my hands clean again. Okay, perfect. And so now I have garlic inside here. I have your green seasoning. I have some of this salt. I'm not going to add a lot of salt because I'm not sure how salty, I'm not sure how salty is this. So I'm not going to add a lot of salt to this. But oh, does it smell good. Okay, so while that is doing, I'm going to light the fire here to fry the fish. And I'm going to add this, the fish to this now. Because I am going to add some flour and some cornstarch to this mixture because I want it to be crunchy and the cornstarch will help do that. So I'm going to get some flour here and when I'm ready, while that is hotting, I'm going to add some flour and cornstarch. In the meantime, I'm going to make this. This is some chutney I'm just going to make here. Some mango chutney inside here. Have a peel mango, some pepper, I'm going to add some garlic to this and some bandana. That's all. You remember the other day when I made, my sister law was here, we made the bandana chutney. This is some of the bandana chutney from that day. So I'm just using it there in this. And I'm going to make some chutney here. Mostly done. Now I have to taste this because I have to figure out the salt on it before I go any further. Mm -hmm. Nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spicy too, but it's good. It's pretty good. Let me put some salt. There is no salt in that, but you could taste that it needs the salt. So I'm going to add some salt. So I've noticed in the comments, my love, people have been asking me about the exact amount of everything I am putting in everything. I don't know. Think about it. I've never been the one of those cooks that really measure everything. Because I learned to cook for my mother and my sisters. And they were cooks already. So they taught me. You look at this and like how I look at it and put the salt. If it want more, I will add. But I do not know exact recipe. But I am I'm thinking that when this channel, if it blows up and it gets to be where there's more people and uh, maybe say 100,000 views or how much I can get, I will take the time off from work to do a recipe book where I will do over all the foods that I have cooked over the months or years or whenever and put the exact amounts and you can send in some of your recipes if you want to and we can try making them and putting them in the book too and you will get the credit for it so something like that this is done this is basically a little chutney made i would have preferred to get a rice a greener mango but they won't any Kroger's was out of green mango so i took the half ripe one so, Georgia, exactly definitely not and if I had thought about doing this like a few days ago I would have gotten it but I thought about it today because I had the shark and it was too late then to go do anything about it let me taste it one more time mm -hmm. that's it <clears throat> that's it that is enough pepper for me <clears throat> and for everything else it's really good so this is done. So this inside you have the mango, 
it has some salt, it has some garlic, it has some of the bandanya, shallow benny, and some habaneros. And that's it. That's to eat with the shark. I have some lettuce here to eat. I have some cucumber. I'm going to grate some cabbage, some tomatoes, and some avocado. I even have some chow chow if you want. And you can put anything you want. Some people put pineapple. Some people put everything. I personally do not like pineapple in, in, in it. So sometimes I, I, you would notice I wouldn't put. Why is this not coming on, honey? Okay, if this is not coming on, I cannot cook. Okay. That's okay, just... it's now coming on. Yeah. So, cause this, if this, this doesn't come up, this will smoke up the whole house and the alarm will go off. So, I'm going to add some flour into this. Uh, I'm guessing this is less than a quarter cup because this is a cup. And I'm only putting a little bit. I'm going to get some cornstarch here and put some cornstarch there maybe three teaspoons of cornstarch and I'm going to mix that up there and see how that goes so and then I'm going to so I'm just going to turn this up here and so this will help the shark to get crunchy and crispy and crunchy I know my husband doesn't like it overly crunchy. He likes it a little bit softer because he likes to eat the shark itself. So I'm not going to make it very, very extremely crunchy for our bakes. So I'm just going to do it something like this. Now you can make it crunchy. You can let it fry longer if you want. This is good heat. So it's on like a medium low heat. And inside there has some all purpose flour and some cornstarch and some of this seafood seasoning i'll add a little more just for a little flavor in this as i add the flour nothing too much and um and this is done okay i don't think i will do this in one i think i'll do it twice so it wouldn't um so it wouldn't overcrowd the pot and get the oil cold So I'll do it two times because this is just uh, about a pound, a little over a pound of shark. Because it's, as I said, it's just the both of us. We don't need more than that. So leave that there. And uh, let me see what that is doing. The, oh, looks good, my love. Look at that. Really good. good. It looks good. awesome. Yeah, old familiar smell of fried fish. Mm, that's good. So let it take the time. I don't want it to cook too much. I'm going to turn the heat a little bit down, a little, and let it take the time and cook because a shark have a tendency to be kind of stiff if you're not cook, if you don't cook it. So a lot of people for, for me just tell me I don't like cooking shark because of that. So while that is cooking, I am going to grate some stuff and cut up some stuff here for the sandwiches. Okay. So I'm going to use the mandolin and I'm going to cut some of these onions into slices. My girlfriend, my very close friend Becky Kureshi, sent me um, a little tip the other day. And she said, if you want to cut the onions and not on the mandolin without being afraid you will get cut, then take a corn a corn um the, the skewer that you use on the corn and and use that and that will hold the garlic or the onions or anything in place for you hi becky how are you my friend becky is my biggest fan she lets me know after all the video what she thinks oh god she is the most loving human being and she's an awesome realtor i love you becky i love you anyways so about my pots people have been asking me about my pots i got most if not all of my pots at the asian farmers market 
there is some Asian farmers market and um, most cities, most big cities in America have them and uh, they have everything. They sell from captain to crook. Every single thing is, is I get that I need and if I can't go, my husband goes. So this is some cabbage. I'm going to season this cabbage with some salt and basically nothing much of everything else because the amount that they have to go in that the only thing when i'm done cooking i will squeeze some lemon on the sandwich so this will get incorporated with some lemon too otherwise i don't need a lot of flavor in anything because there's so much so i'm going to teach you a little trick that i have learned over the years take a little bowl this is a garlic ioe sauce i'm going to take some of this and I'm going to make a rip off garlic sauce. I'm going to make it what we call a internet garlic sauce. I'm going to take this, some bandania, again, take a little bandania, take some garlic and a little, some bandania, some garlic, a little bit of sugar. like a mean a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar like that and I'm going to stir this up voila I have myself some garlic sauce now in Trinidad in Trinidad they'll do it more elaborate mm, that's good that's very good put a little more banana in it I think okay Okay, and I'm done with this. Mm -hmm. This will take good with the fish. And that is done. Now you can add more sugar to it if you want. But for me, that is enough. Let's check on this fish. Let's turn it. If it needs turning here now. I'm going to turn the fire up a little bit. Because I think it's mostly done cooking this fish. How long could it take? And that... I'm going to, yeah. So there are some people who have been telling me about my jewelry. I apologize to them in advance because I sleep with these. I work with these. I get up with these. It's part of who I am. I had said that, uh, ooh, this flower feels good. I had said that earlier on when I had started the channel. But let's let me clarify. Let me clarify here. Let me help you clarify. When you say you work with it, you don't actually cook at the restaurant. Do no, you? I haven't cooked so in a restaurant for years. So then you have no reason to take your jewelry off. You work the front. You work the register. You work the customer service. You supervise your business, and you deal with your with your employees as well. So you are not actually cooking for people's consumption with your jewelry on, right? Isn't that clear? Yes. We made that clear. Well, thank you for helping me clear that up. And, and I'll have to say something else too. I really don't work much by task. I go because my customer likes to see me. But I have some magnificent staff that I always say hi to. Shireen and Nad and, and my brother Paul and, and Warren, Owen and Roderick and everybody. I, ha they, I have magnificent, magnificent help. So shout out to all of them. Who have been good to me over the years i am making the loy for the fry bakes as i go and i'm going to let it sit for a little while again and i'm going to make four fry bakes because it's yeah because it's just both of us to see and i'm sure so. four is going to not it will be too much but i am hoping my daughter was not feeling her best on father's day so she didn't she come down to see you? So she said she might drop in today if she's um, finished work on time. She doesn't have a 9 to 5. So when she's done. So I'm turning back up that a little bit. And I'm going to get some paper towel for the draining purposes. Now, that said, I'll tell you all. I, over the years, I looked. I, at Rhea, cooking with Rhea, 
Trini cooking with Natasha and a taste of Trini. Those women give you the exact measurement. Those women give you exactly if you are looking for that. You, you should su subscribe to their channel. Now, alongside with mine, we give you different things. I give you more of a, an entertainment, sort of fun show to show you how fast you can do all of this. And you highlight living in Atlanta. And a day-to-day -day living. Quick, easy for somebody who come home and want to put something together in a quick way, but fun way with her husband or your or, 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 uh, wife and, uh, every, and kids or who, however your family is. And that is easy to do. Those women teach you step by step. And I have subscribed to all of those women show, all of them. Because I think each and every one of them is phenomenal. People were asking me to make things like barofi and thing. I don't make things. I don't know how to make this. That's something my mom made. But I will try to find somebody to come into the kitchen who may can do it and I can follow them along. I have never made it. I make gulab jamun as we call it home, not in American style gulab jamun. We make gulab jamun, the fat kurma. fat kurma. I make the fat kurma. I'm pretty good at that. Yes, they are delicious. So my grandmother, my, my mother mother would make that and I would look at her while she was doing that and over the years. In all my sisters, I have learned to do it more than they have. So So and my daughter loves it. My sisters, my of everybody, because I am the only one that would make it. Because it's a like, little bit time consuming. So let that fry here. Oh, honey, this is so crunchy, right? Like mm-hmm. I'm so... Mm-hmm. It makes all some time with it. Mm-hmm. That is really good. It's crunchy and nice. Mm. Long shot. Oh. Let us fry it. I'm going to start grating these things to make a little coconut cucumber chutney to go with the anything you want to put. I happen to put the things that I like to put in it. And you could put a million things. When you go to Maracas, there is at least a million and two stuff there. And, and my son in law, he takes all of it. He loves it. Yeah, but I think it shows some of the, the more common stuff and like what we use. This is like a, a, like a long buffet of additions here. Now this is what I know, this is what I've been eating. And even before I know much about shark, your mom used to fry shrimp and fish and stuff. And this is what we made with it yep. when she would fry it. Because you remember, I am married to a fisherman's son. Yep. So this is what... My mother-in-law taught me. This is how I, I learned to cook watching her. At least the seafood parts. Yeah. She was another one who had a lot of kids. So she, you had to make quick, quick cook for her. But when, because she had to help your father take care of the nets. Had the nets ready to go when the, 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 the boats came in. So all of them, including my husband... All of them has learned over the years how to, to make the fixed net, how to make a whole net. My husband could even net a hammock and stuff. He don't do those things anymore. Cause, but when I, when I met him, he made extra money that way. So this is some cucumber and this is the onions. I have some avocado here if we're ready for that later on. I have the... The chutney from the mango. I have chow chow if you want some because you love chow chow. I have hot sauce and I have the garlic sauce. I think I'm good there for size. I eat chow chow with everything. I love chow chow. Yeah, he chow chow for turkey. Chow -chow. On Thanksgiving uh, day, we have to have chow chow on the table. 
Because he won Thanksgiving, so he chow chow. Chow chow is synonymous with Christmas for me. So here, I'm going to light this fire and let it start to hot this pot and I'm going to put this coconut oil here for the fry and these are for the fry bakes and this is the avocado oil as usual that I'm using with the shark okay let me see how much I need and if I need more for now let's stay with that And when I'm done making the oil, I'm going to take this fry that's planted and I'm going to fry it on the side for myself. Because if you have been looking at my channel, you know I love me some planting. There's always a reason to fry planting. Fry planting has nothing to do with bacon jam. Uh-huh, but there's always a reason to fry a planting. I guess to somewhere down the line there's a fry bake with cheese. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I have my avocados. There's a fry bake with avocados and planting. Okay. As my mother would call it, Zabuka Choka. And fry bake and planting. You know, I have to say, everybody, thank you. Thank you for watching me. Thank you. I love you all. You all have been so kind and so generous with your words, with subscription, with, with, with sharing. With you all have been awesome to me. I, I did not expect, because this was the first time I've been doing this. I did not expect it to be this lovely, but I am enjoying it. I thank you all for making it such a, a, a pleasant, memorable, joyful time. Are we making squares? Are we making circles? Circles. Honey. Yeah, I like circles. I know. Some people cheat and just make triangles. No, so that's when I'm making, when I'm eating it with tomato stoker and thing. But when I'm making sandwich, I let this be. This weekend, go on Sunday evening. Sunday during the day. Actually, all day, we had the most elegant, beautiful Father's Day. We certainly did. Thank you for a beautiful day, my God. Yes. Did you enjoy that food at the Four Seasons? Yes, twice. First, we had a, a brunch time, which was quite elaborate and... Uh, I, I mean, my appetite cannot do that justice, but if somebody go in there who could really eat, they could really knock themselves out. That is well done. That's the Four Seasons Atlanta, premier um, hotel spot, and the venue for one of our friends. And um, uh, actually, uh, Ria is a board member of that uh, group as well, and they put on a show. With, that's a whole different thing at a different time. They do a lot of charity work and what's not in Atlanta, but uh, they put on a show at night and that, was, that really went well as well. So yeah. yeah. It was an entire day of fun. It was awesome. There was, it was pretty packed. It was sold out. There were maybe 300 odd people there. The brunch was just very private because it was only a few of his friends who he invited to the brunch in the morning. And we happened to be there and it was Father's Day. So we enjoyed that. But the evening was elaborated and awesome and everybody it ran a little later than we thought but uh, all in all i think everybody had a wonderful time thank you michael thomas for doing it again and if you want to know more about michael thomas event and the charity that he helps he helps like a old people do their teeth who cannot eat or if you, you, you can't afford your medicine, he helps, he does a lot of things. Another disaster really for the Caribbean. Michael Thomas is a, an angel. He's also his HOA, the HOA president and as he reminds you, he's a superhero too. Because he's always there when somebody needs something, always, including me. So this is done. And I'm going to move this here and put this over here because that is pretty very hot. I'm going to turn this, put that there. What did I do with the... Hmm. 
the cheese cloth that I always use to make my bakes. Here it is. I like these cheese cloth for my bakes because they're clean and nice and I can wrap them, saddle them in those things. So the quicker with your help all the people out there so this was more than enough oil that i can get a hundred thousand subscribers the quicker we can right, make a book we can do a book and i would love to do that i would like to take the time off from work where i can do a book and everybody could come together we could have a big lunch and i i really really would appreciate and love that thank you very much so we are making these bakes. Turn on the heat a little bit because I want it to cook through. See that, love? We See have that? Results. We have results. So Tata will be closed from the 2nd of July until the 6th, 17th of July for our annual 4th of July break. We usually, we usually take one week or 10 days off. This year we are taking two weeks because everybody are going back to their respective country. The Jamaicans are going back to Jamaica, the Trinis are going and so. So this year we are closing a little longer and we are heading up to the Arctic Circle for a week with our daughter and our son-in-law. You could smell the yumminess of the coconut oil in this bake. And when we come back, we'll just take a little rest. But that is what. So if you are intended to come into Atlanta from the 2nd of July until the 16th of July, we will be closed at Tassa for that time and as usual casa is closed every sunday and every public holiday the new year's day christmas day thanksgiving those kind of big holidays we are closed i thank all the subscribers who are and, and my friends because that's how i look at you all are my friends because only your friends are so nice to you for coming to the restaurant and Letting me know that you were there and you are supporting me. It is so awesome. I appreciate that. And I'm thinking after this one, I'm done with the roti. I'll make all the rest. If, if we need more than this, I'll make another set later. But I don't think he can eat more than that. So... I want to say a, a, a special hi to um, Rishma from Taste of Trini. She reached out to me to let me know that she's looking at me and she's so proud of me and I am so thankful for all of that. And I hope you go to her channel and like and subscribe because we are a small community right here in America. Most of the other islands are much, much bigger than us. So, and you've been a follower of hers for years? Since I know, I can't tell you when, but it's been a whole long, long time. Because I've been doing it a long time. So I'm going to turn this off now, and I'm going to get a plate, and I'm going to make a sandwich. Okay, so, one knife. So here we are, I'm going to take, and I'm, so, you might hear a little bit of, country music in the background there my biggest fun thing to do is to go to concerts and restaurants so and my favorite entertainer is mr garth brooks i have seen garth brooks so many times i love garth so i'm going to fry that plantains for me in a little while but before i do i'm going to show you how i'm going to put this together Take some of these.
That should be enough there. And I'm going to take some of the chutney. And I'm going to put some of the mango there. I'm going to take some of the bandana sauce and put some over there. So I'll have some of the pepper in that too. I'm going to take some of the fake garlic sauce. And then I'm going to take, now when my husband is eating, he's going to put a lot of pepper and thing in his, but I am good with this. I'm just going to slice a few pieces of these tomatoes, put some tomato in this, piece of lettuce, room, a piece of lettuce, yes, my love, a this cucumber that I really like, a little bit of this, some onions, and a piece of lettuce, and that's my sandwich. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to show you how it looks inside. And this is how it looks inside. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know I should have for TV. I should take a smaller bite, but boy, is it good. Thank you all for watching me. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for following, for sharing. I love you all, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.